Moments after stepping out of an Uber, which had driven the couple from Chelsea, Layla heard a crackling noise coming from the tilting scaffolding block which was looming towards them. Describing the moment they were standing under the collapsing tower, Nicole told Mail Online, it was terrifying. You don't really think about it, you're speechless, it takes your breath away. Everything flashes in front of you. Layla's got kids, you know. It was petrifying and we're very shaken up if we had been there literally a few seconds later we would have died. Nicole said that when Layla heard the creaking coming from the swaying scaffolding block, she shouted at her to F in run. Then they heard an enormous crash as the metal rods and wooden planks smashed onto the road in the cars below. Several cars including a Toyota, Ford, and Peugeot have sustained damage, according to Nicole. She added that because they were so shaken up her and Layla went straight inside and did not call anyone, but soon the police arrived to court and off the street. And she said that a truck emblazoned with the company named J. Plackett scaffolding pulled up very quickly after the collapse to begin clearing up the mess. But when with the women went outside to confront their staff about the couple's horrifying ordeal, Nicole claims one of them just shrugged. Nicole said that conditions in Fulham were gusty this morning but blames Jay Plackett for failing to fasten the structure to the wall securely. She said, it was really windy, but not enough to tip over scaffolding, it must have been tied on badly. Mail Online contacted Jay Plackett who said they were too busy dealing with the incident to provide comment. The collapse comes as howling 65 miles per hour winds batter Britain's towns and cities today. Met Office forecaster Greg Denwurst said, it's very windy out there at the moment. We've got bands of sleet and snow pushing eastwards through the morning, and this will clear to heavy showers through the day. There's a cold northwesterly wind with gales around the coast. 